Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome back to Plane Time Fokker DR1 Red Baron Triplane Edition. It's been a little while, but uh, I've been doing a bunch of other things, but right now it's raining. And since it's raining, the, the best thing to do is sit down and focus on finishing the assembly of the Fokker DR1. So if you remember from the unboxing, the magic unboxing, take a look at the magic unboxing video because after doing all the work to assemble the plane I put it all together as if it was a almost ready to fly so here we have um, I, I love the look at this with the just uh, showing it showing off again the look of the the beautiful finish with the silk span and easy dope and paint that uh, makes this plane look really nice there's a nice shot of the switch that I've put in, which doesn't actually look too bad. My backwards cockpit, and I have fitted the tailplane. The empennage, if you want to be very correct about it, the horizontal st stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, elevator rudder. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the, the wings. Basically, the, the last pieces of this are and my wife asked me about this, how many bits have you got left to put together? And it's not very many. Uh, there are three wings, but each wing comes in two halves. So that gives us nine, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have struts, so two external struts that go up each side, and then two pairs that go in the middle here. So that gives a total of six pieces. And then there's the undercarriage, which you might have seen before, is assembled and ready to go. So there's our undercarriage, and uh, looking pretty nice. So that would make, so what have we got, 9, 6, 15, 16, and then we've got some other gadgets. So we've got our gadgets, I mean that in terms of the flying plane, that's what we need, but I've got my pan and tilt camera, all assembled and tested and ready. Uh, inside the box somewhere there is a transmitter for the camera so we can get uh, uh, FPV view or just do recording of the, of the video. And of course I have, there's other things that maybe don't count as assembly, uh, you know, it's real pieces, there's some screws, there's some, uh, there's a battery that will need to go in, etc. So uh, 15 pieces. Uh, to put together. So what we have and what I'm going to do with a uh, fast motion or a time-lapse recording, probably time-lapse will, will work just fine, of this, is basically take the lower wings and then these have to be assembled and there's a slot in the wings here where the strut goes in and then there's a hole through the middle wing where that same strut basically goes through the middle wing and then mounts into the bottom of the upper wing. And the, the, the challenge that I've got, a little bit of fiddling around to do, is that after having finished this really beautifully, I just love how that turned out, uh, I've lost the spots, I've lost the holes where these go. So I, I think I found the bottom one on here. I got out the plans to try and figure out where it is, which is on this um, second rib from the end on the bottom wing and on the third third rib if you can, rib if you count the end one on the middle wing is where the where the slot goes through and it's just a little back from the the main spar on the wing if you're looking for it yourself if you made the same mistake I did didn't keep track of where that is it can be uh, a little difficult to find so basically what that needs to happen is that that needs to go into there and then once I'm sure of that, and I've got that all figured out, and I'm gonna have to make sure that I um, file out the hole so it actually fits in nicely, because when I'm putting that strut in, the thing that worries me most is that I'll accidentally poke it through my uh, beautiful covering somewhere, and I really don't wanna do that. So I'm being very careful to keep those struts out of the way till I need them. I'll fit them in, I'll fit them in, uh, make sure that they, they have their spot, and then I'll 
legs. I'll screw on the bottom wing. Then I'll put on the top, the, the middle wing, and I'll slide that strut through the middle wing. And then once I've got the bottom wing and the middle wing on, then I'll finally assemble the top wing, which I have to be very careful about. And I'm going to have to put on, put the, basically put these struts on and screw them to the top wing first, and then turn that top wing over very carefully and slot in the two end pieces into on, onto the top of those um, those struts that will be kind of out here somewhere. So let's see how it goes and come along for the ride. Should be fun. Um, please uh, please like this video even if you don't feel like watching through to the end. Um, feel free to fast forward through. Uh, there's, um, I'll be marking key points in the video. The whole thing will be there in case you want to watch it if you're building yourself. And if not, you can jump ahead to, um, to key moments. And if you uh, haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. And hopefully it will be worth your while to subscribe and see this plane completed and flying. The Sopwith Camel that you can see behind me once the weather clears up and we get really nice um, mowed uh, landing strips. Um, I'm hoping to, to maiden that and we'll maiden this and we'll also be doing some interesting stuff with Ardu Plane. So please subscribe, it should be fun. Uh, thanks for watching and carry on with this video. I will show you uh, what happens as I pull, put this plane together. Well, I've hit a bit of a snag. Should have thought ahead for this one. And uh, I think it's uh, something that maybe, you, if you're gonna build this plane, you're gonna need to know about. And should have been obvious way before now. I'll turn the camera around. I've also got the overhead showing, uh, and you may find that video better. But um, let's have a look. See, here what we've got is we've got so we've got the wing on, which looks really gorgeous, actually. Looks really nice. And I'm so I'm just ready, I've got the lower wing on, and I'm just about ready to put on the the second wing. And and this is where I hit the problem. Uh, and I guess I've caused it with my own uh, design here, to be fair, because what I have now is I have a a cockpit hatch and the cockpit hatch doesn't have any holes in it and so the trick is that there is some wires that need to get from the flight controller up to the top of the plane uh, when I put the, the the top wing in there'll need to be servo wires that go to the uh, servo wires that need to go to the 
to the ailerons which are on the top wing and also the video transmitter and camera connection which need to get to the pan and tilt and to wherever I decide to install the video transmitter which I actually haven't figured out yet. So the as far as I can see the intended route for the servo wires is pretty much here and that is uh, let me turn that around so you can see basically um, you know if I was using a regular transmitter uh, or receiver here uh, that would be that would be where the the servos connect and the servo wires which go down to connect to the aileron and rudder servos they are fine and they're connected and the two servo wires which need to connect to the ailerons which are going to be up here would basically need to run well up through the cockpit and then probably up the struts and I think I remember that Nick the Baron flights told me that um, that that was an issue and I guess I'm hitting the issue and so what I've also done is compounded the problem by building my beautiful little hatch here that fits in nicely and has a mounting area for my pilot aka camera pan and tilt and uh, well I didn't put any holes in there I mean I've got some holes on the side and I could technically run the wires up through the hatch but that kind of defeats the purpose of the hatch because then you won't be able to take it out so I don't really want to do that so the alternative is and this is I'm, I'm really thinking seriously about this is to actually um, cut a hole in my beautiful wing here to enable the, ca the servo wires and the video transmitter and camera to actually come up through this middle wing here and that wouldn't be too bad in a sense because that would be I don't know if I have it handy that would be right between the machine guns I'm as I'm speaking to you I'm kind of convincing myself this would come in between the machine guns which I think run approximately around there I have to find the actual holes on the on the wing again because I've covered them as well but the machine gun would be there and then I can run the wires up in the in between so yeah I think uh, I pretty much convinced myself that that's what needs to happen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole here that will allow me to run the wire for my GPS video transmitter camera and servos up through the through this middle or I don't know what's it called the middle wing it's not the lower wing it's not the upper wing so it must be the middle wing I'll label the ca cables to come up through there rather than coming up through the uh, cockpit and yes I'm convinced that's what I will do all right let's keep on building
Thanks for watching, Tim the Plain Man, over and out.